going out as the Washington Post reports, quote, since the FBI searched former President Donald Trump's home to recover classified documents, the National Archives has become the target of a rash of threats and vitriol. Trump's recent actions have whipped his followers into a fervor against the National Archives. How can you be in a fervor against the National Archives? I mean, even in that ridiculous movie, National Treasure, where the most insane things are made to seem super suspicious and sinister. Ooh, the clues are on the dollar bill. I mean, even there, the National Archives itself isn't bad. I mean, the National Archives is, is where we keep our country's documents. It's the filing cabinet. It's the library. How can you be mad at the library? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's what we're doing now. Hysterical criticism and culture war posturing, culture war posturing from the political right really is shutting down American libraries now. And, and children's story times at libraries are being targeted for violence and intimidation from the right. And school board meetings are turning into scenes of violence and intimidation and harassment as well. And elections workers are being threatened and attacked and doxxed and harassed. And public health officials and local public health officers and doctors and nurses and teachers. I mean, depending on whatever the hot topic of this week is on, on the right. Some new group of Americans working in some aspect of public service is about to start getting threatened and doxxed and harassed. I mean, it's, it's everything that we cover now. We just had that interview last week with Dr. Anthony Fauci on the occasion of him announcing his retirement after serving seven different presidencies, nearly 50 years in public health, public service. Dr. Fauci never before now had to have a security detail. But he has to now because of all the threats to him and his family. Be below a sort of national figure like that, public health officials, local City, county, state public health officials all over the country hounded out of their jobs, threatened, harassed, causing the largest public health professional exodus in modern American history in the middle of our largest public health threat in a century. The whole elections office in one Texas county, Gillespie County, the whole office, every worker in the elections office all resigning this month en masse because they can't handle the threats and the harassment of them for their terrible crime of working like normal public servants to administer totally normal elections. Former President Trump's social media company posting a link to the unredacted search warrant for Mar-a-Lago, unredacted in the sense that the one that they posted didn't black out the names of the individual FBI agents who signed off on some of that documentation. After that, a Trump White House staffer posted personal identifying information for those FBI agents and their families so Trump supporters could hound them and threaten them and intimidate them and target them. The FBI and the Department of Homeland Security having to send out a nationwide alert about a spike in threats to federal law enforcement officials of all kinds. The judge who signed off on the search warrant at Mar-a-Lago needing security after his address was posted online and Trump supporters started threatening him and threatening his synagogue. That's nice. Now, apparently, it's the National Archives staff. The National Archives. I mean, talk about the case that proves the point, right? I mean, if the federal government were a zoo, the National Archives would be like the lop-eared bunnies exhibit, you know, the baby otters, the cute little vegetarian monkeys that are so small they can sit in a teaspoon. I mean, it's just not possible to object violently to the National Archives on any rational basis.